What is up guys? So I'm going to be walking through Plants vs. Zombies again. Or not again. This is my first time like redoing it. But I have already completed all these worlds. I've completed Ancient Egypt. I'm just going to scroll through as you can see 25. I just I finished every single world. All the way leading to modern day. So you get the idea. So I am going to be deleting this account. It sucks. I really didn't want to do it. But you cannot do another one. So it is. Yeah, there's no way. Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to call it Ashley Go Off. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start from the very, very beginning. That other took a long time, hard work, passing all those levels, but I did it. Okay, here you go. Okay, so we're just going to skip over everything because I already know how to play. There's no reason. And I usually don't really listen to anything these people say. Because I just don't really care. I'm just trying to speed it up here. So we're going to be going all the way to ancient Egypt. Okay, she's going to be showing us how to use plant food. Yeah. So we're just going to turn on the music and sound a little bit so you can hear my voice. So usually what I do here, I put a row of everything as the same. So we're going to put a row as the sunflowers here. And since I already have these pea pods like here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them in that row after. Oh, so we're just going to use our plant food on these guys just to get stuff sped up. So I'm going to put those guys there. Just kind of spamming plants. Put it all lined up. We're gonna need more help on the cone because they are stronger than most zombies. Let's get that extra help. There we go. Honestly, I think these pea shooters are like terrible because there's like it's like one key. It's like what is that gonna do? So we usually just use them in the beginning because they're strong in the beginning, but towards the end, they're not that great. Okay, pretty easy pass, so no strategy for that. So since I did restart, it's going to tell me to do all this stuff and like go to the, just do everything. I think it's going to make me move on to the next day here. Yeah. And then after I finish this day, I'm pretty sure they'll just get out of my face. Well, there's some other stuff to just show me, but I already know it, so... I do not know. Okay, so they're giving us some coins here. Oh, to buy a plant food just shows that. But I would never do that. It's a waste. You might as well choose a power-up, if so. Okay. Since, since they already got plants here, I'm just going to put the suns in that row instead. Power this up. Get one more of those guys. There we go. <clears throat> Tombstones are annoying, I gotta say. In the beginning, in my opinion, it was pretty boring. I'm just trying to get moved on here. I'm just trying to get more into the game. Make it more interesting. Just gonna put these guys in the back here, so we have a little more help. Just gonna use a power up him, so we can just speed this up a little bit. You can just tell by these are they're easy because it's only one way. Like. And we're gonna power up 
to grab these two plant foods so we can just knock all these people out here. Yep, and it literally knocks out everybody. Okay. Pretty sure these are the shimmy fema things and these people are out of here. So it's some sure. Ugh. Okay, let's go make us play one of these stupid travel logs to get this pinata. It sucks, but okay. <laughs> okay, sure for that was my dad. Okay, so this is probably a pretty easy level. These guys are powered, as you can tell, by the normal boomerang. It does not use this suit that good. That knocks them out very easily. Like two hits on those zombies over there. Put this net here. If you could get another boomerang guy up here, up this area, that would be great. I'm not taking so long. But, uh, again, we just speed it up. Right, I'll speed it up now. Because just to uh, get things done faster. Is that cool for the game? Yep, pretty easy. There you go. Oh, and it gives us power ups here. Oh, I for surely thought um, that these power ups were throughout the level. I guess not. Or maybe they'll show us how to use them later. I don't know. So, yeah, completing that challenge just gives us the pinata. 10,000 coins, wow. Three walnuts, three pea shooters. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna show us like the book and how to like solve everything. Okay, so we're just gonna go to the book. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so. Okay, so we're gonna be updating you guys. Okay, so. So I think we're finally done. Yeah, so we're we are going to be playing level four. Looks like we get a plant after doing this level. <clears throat> so I'm just going to turn this down. So I just want to be able to hear myself. Okay, so this is basically, this level is basically just showing you how to use these three power-ups here. You got the ice, and then you got like the power toss. Just swipe them away. And then the one after that, the purple one, it's the worst one. It's lightning. And it's very unlikely that it'll even happen. Like, what are the chances of this right here? It's... But I sometimes do use it. But as you can tell, we do, they do give us a lot of coins because they just gave us 10,000 by uh, just opening pinata. So this level is just all about that. Nothing that exciting. You don't really need my assistance on this, but I'm just doing the whole world, so. It's like, why the heck not? Bro. Right. Okay, so. Yep, pretty like, easy levels. So you have those power ups. Just in case you need them. Okay. Let's move on to the next level here. So these are still pretty easy. Hopefully it gets a little more challenging gets, get we, so we get to the end. If you're wondering how I get the, got those gems up up there, I did watch videos. But I'm not going to watch them because every time I watch them, it like takes off my screen record or something. Or whatever. So I give us 20 gems. And I'm going to get these pack. That's honestly like a waste. I gotta say. Like, that's actually a complete waste. Like, why would anyone do that? Hmm. Whatever. 
But I would usually watch this to watch free gems, but whatever. Just gonna continue on. Oh, looks like we got this level, and then we're at the boss level. I'm sorry, I'm just making sure it's still recording because sometimes it, it just turns off. Okay, so we're not gonna use the pea shooter because that's like the worst card ever. Oh, it looks like we put some ice here. What's going on here? So we don't even have any waves. You could that just proves like how much, like how easy this is gonna be. Okay, so what I usually do here, it's just a waste time. Get suns, getting suns to build up. I usually just put a bomb, like a a potato bomb, potato mine. Sorry, that I just put there. And so we have two. What I usually do, so I'll put one. I'll put these guys in one row, and then I'll put these in another. But we're not gonna put it just yet. But then in front of that, I'll put a nut. Okay, so let's put the nut here. We're gonna put a potato mine here, so we don't have to deal with that bucket head at all. We'll just put another boomerang here to get rid of that guy, and especially because of that ice, this bucket, the potato mine is for surely ready. We're just gonna put another nut here. We're gonna need some more help here because we got this kind of. I don't even know, whatever this is here. Okay, so, to wait for that nut to come. Okay, so we've got some plant food. So keep that plant food there just in case we need it. So we're gonna put two there. As you can see, I'm just putting everything in the same room. we got all sunflowers. We're gonna put all boomerangs here eventually, and then whatever these green guys are called, we're gonna all put them there. I'm gonna put another nut here. And if we ever need to slow anyone down, we could just put this ice here. So let's quickly put plants here to take out this bucket head guy here. I'll put some of these. These boomerangs affect the first three zombies. That's it. So if there's like, say, five there, it only affects three of them. Just in case you didn't know that. Now you do. Okay, so a huge weight. A huge weight. So final wave here. You get rid of that ice thing. Just put a nut. We're gonna use a power up, or not a power up, I mean, I'm um, sorry. I meant plant food. Get rid of this guy. Still alive. Okay, there we go. Yeah, just for the heck of it, I just put the bomb down there. Okay, so there. There's a strategy I would usually use to pass this. Working out pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. Some creepy drawing or picture, whatever. Okay, so we are on the king or whatever, like the bad guy world, the boss world. Or ha so we're like halfway, kind of. We're not halfway, but it's like just a, okay, whatever. It's just a boss level. Okay. So it's usually, yep, we already knew that, I usually do that every time. So let's see what we're doing with here, okay. Just gonna hold that nut, just see what kind of cards are they're gonna give us here. Or what's coming, so. Still gonna speed it up, like, and do whatever. So like, usually these worlds when there's like this whole thing right here, like, this thing that's rolling up new plants. I usually just don't care. Like, I try to put them in order like I have been doing, but sometimes, like, for example, like, this bucket head might need, like, more than one guy or one plant that's helping to destroy it. So sometimes I just don't even care about putting it in order like I said I usually do. Now we're going to put that. Put a nut here because that bucket head is very strong for at least for this kind of level because these plants suck. Okay. So we're gonna need more help in this middle row here, so we're just gonna slow them down a little bit. Try to wait for another boomerang, dude. Put a nut there just in case. Game's going by really slow, gotta say. 
a huge wall of these guys here. Right there. I'm just doing that so you guys know what I'm talking about. Put a nice there. You see that bucket head coming through? She needs to plant food here. Let's knock some of those guys out. So on our first wave. Okay. Doing pretty good so far. Guys, me I think it's kind of nerdy that I'm playing Plants vs. Zombies 2, but I just love Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's just a fun game in my opinion. may not be for you, so we're just going to just plant food on... Oh, whoops. I was like, why the heck not? So yeah, so we're just going to put these guys... Oh, sprout. So like I said, I don't really care because we're on this kind of level, so we're just going to randomly put plants down probably now if we get any more. Jeez, it's so much plant food as you can tell. It's like a crazy amount of plant food, like, jeez, at least. Okay, let's just put these plants here. It looks like we're dealing with a giant, okay. Oh, just a giant. Later. Kill my plant. Oh. Okay, hopefully he just gets that bomb. He'll be destroyed by the bomb. For sure. Yep, there we go. So we get all the keys to the world, but I'm just going to be sitting to Agent Egypt. So, yeah, we're going to be moving on to the next level now. So you unlock any worlds. So we are back on and we're gonna continue ancient Egypt. We're gonna, s oh, okay, so it wants us to go to the Zen garden. So, okay. And then we're gonna supposed to give it water. And these kind of flowers give us coins. So I think they're gonna yeah, give us some gems to help Speed it up. Yep, so this gives us a good amount of coins here. And yeah, you could just keep planting those. Pretty good. Okay, so we're going to get back onto the levels. I'm pretty sure we are on like day seven, I think. And we got a quest completed, so let's get some coins and some gems. I've also been watching some videos. As you can see, I got 11 coins right now. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so it looks like we got these boomerang guys, so we're gonna wait for someone to come. Okay, we're gonna save that bomb actually. So let's just put these guys here. Again, uh, as you can tell in the right hand corner, I, corner, I'm just speeding it up because I don't feel like waiting. Okay, we're going to put this down so we get the effect and I should have actually done that because we have another one of these things coming here that got that pamper, but it's fine. I'm going to put a nut here, we're going to need the extra help. Doing pretty good so far. And we need our plant food. Help us out a little bit there. Doing pretty good so Give me more plant food. Almost at the end here. Got all those extra potato bombs. Probably just not gonna use those. So it's all good. Doesn't matter. Doing good. 
we need some plant food. Once we get everybody up out on the map, so we can shoot at them. I use it on these guys here. So try to use it again. There we go. Okay. Give us some coins. Okay, we're gonna be moving on to the next level. Okay, so it's letting us pick plants here. So again, we're just gonna do those basic ones in my opinion. I just think pea shooters just aren't that great. So we're gonna have a first, the first row here, we're gonna just have a row of sunflowers. It looks like, cause this is more updated so we're gonna have like these bombs here they're letting us have those bombs in the ice guy there so it's kind of interesting because i remember when i first started playing this in the very beginning a few years ago i do not remember that okay so now we have a whole row of sunflowers now we're gonna have a whole row of boomerang guys okay so we're gonna freeze this freak and because these guys right here the ones right there um they just like put down yeah they put down like gravestones very annoying but that's what they do so okay that's gonna be an annoying spot because now i can't really get that out of here that's actually really annoying okay we're gonna try to put a bomb there hopefully he takes some time he might actually eat that bomb i think that was doesn't taste good Put a nut there. So I don't know how I'm gonna destroy this grape center unless I plant food one of these people here. So yeah, those grape guard guys can get annoying. Let's just say that. Let's put an all, another walnut there. Just keep putting plants down. It's already on the final wave, so. Remember. Oh. Okay, yeah. Easily passed doing good so far not really any troubles or anything okay moving on to the next level so oh they want us to go back to the zen garden oh they're probably gonna have us a plant to boost Sunflower. Oh, okay, so they want us to have that boost. So yeah, if you don't know what a boost means, it just means every time you like put it down, like when you would usually put a plant food on like a sunflower, it'll give you, I'm pretty sure it's three suns, but now you don't need to use a plant food. You could easily just put down, um, the sunflower so we're gonna be using the same cards okay so as you can see see here's the boost it gives us three suns so it's 150 suns in all and this level will be for sure the easiest especially because we just have these guys that are just giving us multiple suns so again we're gonna have the boomerangers in one another plant another and then we're gonna have the walnut so we're gonna put the walnut there Okay, we're just gonna be putting plants down now because we have the boost, so we don't need to sit here and wait for suns and zombies to come. Just already know they're coming. So that's usually my strategy for every planter zombies day we play. That's what I do just every time. So we will be using an ice if this guy gets close, but we probably will be able to defeat him before he gets to us. That's where I thought. Put that plant food, just keep putting down plants. Just wait for those walnuts, they take a little longer. So, need two more of those, and then my strategy will be pretty much over. And just one more walnut to put down. It's gonna use the plant food. Use it again. So, basically, all we have is just that guy. So, have those boomerangs, and we do end up having another plant food, still extra. 
Oh, okay. So I remember these cards. They are zero. They take away. Uh, they yeah. They plant it on the grave to remove a grave. So you could just take away a grave. Pretty plain, pretty simple. Okay, so we are on the next game. So we're gonna be grabbing the same plants, but we're just gonna not use the ice because we have, as you can see by the zombies over there, we do not have any fire guys. And if we did, it wouldn't be a problem because the grave guys are better at this time. So we're gonna speed it up like in the right hand corner just to get it, us moving on here. So I'm gonna put these grave down. So I'm gonna put a bomb here because by the time the zombie gets to where the bomb is, the bomb will be ready. So we're gonna be using the same strategy. So we keep putting those grave guys on just graves because there may they people may raise from the graves during a wave. Because this time we have two waves. We're gonna be putting these walnuts. Okay, we're gonna put another bomb here because we still have time. Okay, so we're gonna put a walnut two in front of two spaces of in front of the sunflower. So we have space for the boomerang and this guy. I always forget what it is. Okay, so we're going to put a sunflower here. We're going to put one of those there. Put another walnut. Just keep kind of just like lining it up. Okay, there we go. Doing pretty good. Get, get that plant food. Might need a little more help because this guy is a cone head. So it'll take more work. Just put a nut there just in case we have any problems or anything. Doing pretty good so far. Just put these other plants here so when we come up to this wave, we have the most help we can get. Okay. Still doing pretty good here. So yeah, our thing is done and we're only halfway through, so just keep getting those great guys and just helping out. Just gonna use probably uh, a plant food. One plant food. I guess because you see in this, in this cone head right here, or now not a cone head, but it was a cone head, but we're gonna get another plant food. We'll probably just save the rest of the plant foods unless we get max plant foods uh, during the final wave just to speed it up. Can I put a bomb there? Because what the heck? Why not? About halfway to the next wave. Okay, doing good, doing good. Just keep putting those grave guys on the graves just to help out a little bit. Okay, get, now we have max plant food. Got that bucket head there. Hopefully that bomb will be ready by the time it gets there because. That bucket head is annoying, I gotta say. But yep, good, the bomb is ready. Later. Okay, so we're gonna use our final plant foods on these guys. Why so the heck not? So wait for all these guys to go on the map. So we're gonna use our final plant food to get rid of them all. Okay, there we go. Finish day 10. Give me some, give me some more coins. Okay. Moving on to the next level. About halfway through this ancient Egypt world. Okay, we're gonna be dealing with given plants now. Okay. Oh, okay, so we're not going to use these normal sunflowers. Like, these guys, we're going to be using the twin sunflowers. Those are the good, the better ones. That's what I always use, like, when I got more, like, for every level. Ever since I earned them, for, like, almost every level, I always use them. Because they're just way much better than just a normal one. Okay, and as you can see, I put the bomb there because that's just what we do. I always do that in the beginning. Just keep, so we have the most time to gather suns like I am right now. I'm going to put another bomb in the row where this guy is. Okay, and again, we only have two. We got the boomerang and we got the pea shooter. So we're going to put the walnut again in two spaces between these plants, between the sunflowers. We're going to put another bomb, but the other bomb will not be ready. 
by the time it takes, oh, whoops, it takes too long. So we're just gonna put the boomerang guy like I just did a few seconds ago. Keep putting the walnuts there. I'm gonna try to put this bomb here. I don't know if it's gonna be able to work just in case you're gonna have something going at it. May, cause sometimes it takes a long time. It takes longer than a normal and like a primal bomb, but luckily it got to show as you just saw. Okay, so I'm gonna put another walnut. Gonna need more help on the cone heads. So you wanna put pea shooter like I just did. Okay, now we're just again waiting for the walnuts and we are again like I'm basically done with my strategy. And we're about halfway through the day 11 right now. Again, we have it on fast mode, but if you are a beginner, you may want to do it on like a slower mode so you can just see what's coming or if you don't really know the game that well. So again, we are done. So we're just going to put a bomb here by the Buckethead because the Buckethead is going to be an annoying card. And we actually have no plan food. Oh, just got one. So my first plan for the game that's not usually normal, but if this bomb would, the potato bomb would hurry up. We're going to put one there by that cone head. Okay, now we're getting some plant food on us. Here. Just gonna. Oh, we don't. See, this is the difference. It's different. It's harder because we don't have all the normal spots. And that one card I always use that shoots everywhere. But now we only have these. Okay, so. Should still be fine. Okay, we're on max plant food right now, but let's use it here. To knock out that row. Okay, final wave. We use plant food here. We got two bucket heads, so might just need to use it again too. I'll knock out this row too because it already has another plant food. And we're not here. Shrimp. Okay. Finished day eleven. Oh, and it looks like they're giving us a pinata. That's Helpful. 3,000 coins, 12 potato mines, 3 boomerangs. So we could level those up. <clears throat> okay, so we're just going to level those plants up. So 50 coins to upgrade. 50 more. Okay, so change this one. So we don't really need the ice. I guess we'll just take the ice because or actually we'll just take the pea shooter and this is gonna be a little different of how I'm gonna set this up like I usually do. So I'll, again I'm just gonna have the first row is the first row is just sunflowers, so we're gonna do that and for the first zombie I'll just put potato mine there so there we go <clears throat> okay so we got the full row of sunflowers okay see now we have three defensive plants here so we're instead uh, hold on let me put this potato mine down okay and gonna have one two three four so we're gonna put the nut there and just wait just for zombies to come Storing up on the suns, it's good because we're gonna have three rows. We're gonna have boomerang here, we're gonna have this plant here, and pea shooter there. So, we're gonna just put another nut down. Boomerang is probably the best out of them all, so just put those down. You know, also, if you want like this guy right here to slow down, you could just have a sun because he wants the sun, so you can just wait and be like, oh, and just make him stand there. So we're gonna need a little more help on the side with the cone head. It should be fine. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, good. So we got a full row of boomerangs. And wait, okay, so we put another walnut there. Now we're gonna need more help because that this guy right here is really hard to defeat. Or not really hard. Just Maybe hard for beginners, and with using these plants, it's kind of hard to defeat it. So after he is destroyed, uh, he is like really fast, and he eats extremely faster than most zombies. See, if you could tell, I don't know if I can. 
So we're halfway through. I just got a whole like game plan, game setup about. So two more pieces and we'll be really good. In my opinion, for these worlds, unless you have like uh, multiple zombies in one row where you need to use like the plant food on the boomerangs, but I recommend just plant food it on these guys because they could affect multiple rows. So like, for example, this row right here is kind of getting a little crazy, so I'm just going to use the boomerang on that because you know just have a lot of guys there. And I may need to use on the middle row and this row here. I'm going to use it there. And we're also going to use it on these guys. Okay. We're doing fine. Probably just going to use the plant food on this guy again. And, oh, okay. Let's have an extra plant food, I guess. Whatever. So, we unlocked a pyramid. Okay. Pretty sure this is like another game mode you could play. Usually they're locked every few levels through every few like get game maps like how we're on ancient egypt right now so okay so yeah pyramid of doom okay now we're gonna move on to level 13. okay so we're gonna be moving on to level 13 now or day 13 my apologies okay so we got I remember survive without planting on Dave's Dave's mold. Okay, so you just the main thing is you just can't plan on it. So we're just gonna be using about the same deck. So bomb, probably just I guess ice just to freeze a zombie that may get in my way or is too close. I want them to slow down. <clears throat> so we're just gonna speed it up like we usually do. And we're gonna have the we're gonna have a row of suns here again, like we always do. We're gonna put the bomb as far back as we can, so we can just kill the zombie zombie easily. Okay, so we only got two plants. So we're gonna have one, two, three. So we're gonna put the walnut there. Now, after the zombie is killed, I'll put down another sunflower. Probably don't have enough time for a bomb, so I'm just gonna put the boomerang guy, boomerang guy there. Put a bomb, another boomerang guy. I'm gonna put another walnut. Okay, so we're gonna need to slow this guy down. So we're gonna put the ice there. Wait for that guy to get destroyed by the bomb. Okay, gonna need a little extra help because she could use a cone head. Put a walnut there just in case he gets just too close. Okay, and good. He's a plant food, zo plant food zombie. He's green, and that's what it means. When they're green, you get plant food after killing them. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna back it up there. Slow this guy down a little bit. Doing pretty good so far, almost on the- Okay, so we only got one wave here. Almost there. Oh, doing good. Just gonna save the plant food until the final wave. Okay, got max plant food here, so we're gonna wait for everyone to come out. Just a little bit. A few seconds. There we go. Oh, pretty easy. Oh, these guys are really good, I gotta say. Yeah, punches enemies from ahead or behind. So it looks like we got something from here. Oh, pinata. Thousand coins. Two of those. Five grave busters, okay. So let's go on to the next level. Okay, so. Okay, so the next level we're gonna be using those guys for sure. Hey, okay, there's our deck. Not gonna be using those ice guys this time. Speed it up again. 
And again, you guys don't have to speed it up. I'm just doing it in the sake of time for this video. Because I already know it's going to be long doing all of ancient Egypt. I'm going to try to at least. So that's why I'm just speeding it up. So again, we're going to have the full row of sunflowers. But now since we have those broccoli guys, we're going to do, instead of just putting it here, we're going to put it here. So there. We're going to put a broccoli guy here so you he can help break that gravestone for us. I'm going to put another one here because why not? Break the gravestone and kill that zombie. I'm going to put another walnut there. I'm going to put one here to help break this gravestone right here. And then also we're going to need a little more help because that guy's a cone head. Just going to put some more broccoli guys help break those gravestones. Really need to get rid of this gravestone here. It's kind of annoying. Okay, put another walnut down. Okay, doing pretty good so far. Almost halfway done. Almost at that first wave as well. Okay, we need to kill that guy that's putting down the graveyard. So I want him getting in the way of anything. So many gravestones. Jeez. Okay, so we're on the first wave right now. <clears throat> Just gonna keep putting cards down. Two more of those boomerang guys once you get enough suns. That's why those twin sunflowers, if I had those, I would be for surely using them. Because then we don't have to deal with like how we're just sitting here waiting for me to get more suns. Almost got max plant food. So now we have all the cards we need for the level. Doing good. Got that broccoli. Totally punching the crap out of these zombies right here. I need some maybe help here. Cause he needs to be powerful. Like I already told you, that guy is very powerful. Uh, it's probably good though. I really want to just save the plant food for the final wave, unless we get four, where one more plant food, which we can't hold, because we normally hold four. Okay. Doing fine. Walnuts barely even eaten out of. Not really a problem. Have a bunch of suns now. Almost a thousand suns. Oh, a thousand suns, guys. Good strategy, I feel like. Oh, we got another plant zombie guy that has some plant food, so. Again, we're just gonna use the plant food on the same guys we do every time. There we go. Use it again. Again. Again, for just the heck of it, even though there's no one there. Okay. D14 complete. So I'm pretty sure there's 25 days. I'm, I don't really remember. I think it's 25. So what are we on now? Like day 15? Right? So what, like 10 more levels to go? Oh, okay, so we're gonna be protecting endanger, endangered plants, the sunflowers. So let's see what kind of zombies we're dealing with here. Okay, no guys with the torches, that's good. We have the sunflower, we're gonna grab the potato mine, walnut, bonk choy, I don't even know, I'm just gonna call them the broccoli, cause what the heck, boomerang, Oh, cabbage. I'm just gonna cabbage plot. I'm just gonna call them cabbage though. So yeah, those are the cards we're gonna go with. Okay, so for the strat, the best strategy I usually use here is, okay, so we're gonna put the broccoli, or I'm just gonna wait, but I'm gonna, I, what I usually do for this, if it's really hard, I would just put a, like a walnut in front. I'm gonna put a potato mine there so we just have time to wait. Like I already said, oh, I'll speed it up too. But for this kind of level, since it's not that hard and I kind of want to just get on with it, 
I'm gonna put the broccoli guy here. But I'm just gonna hold off for a little bit. So that means the walnut's gonna go here. So I'll just put the walnut here. Put another potato mine. And like I already said, what it, it will be like that. So for both endanger, endangered sunflowers here, I'm gonna put a broccoli there. And then once the walnut is complete, I'm gonna put the walnut there. That's my main goal for right now because I'm just trying to protect those sunflowers. Because if they get eaten, you lose. So again, we're just gonna wait for that walnut. Speed it up again and we should be good from here. Just wanna put some backup plants and you also, I'm gonna put a potato mine here, but you also don't wanna forget about those middle rows or not this this row here and this row here because you may be too focused on just trying to protect those endangered plants but you want to help around so usually what i would do then since we only have three so i put the walnut here the extra walnut and that means i put the broccoli there and this guy there whoops he almost got my son there okay we're gonna again put the walnut here Broccoli there. Some, add some help. And we're gonna just keep putting these cabbage plants, cabbage shooters, whatever, just around there. Just need one more of them. Okay, there we go. Okay, doing pretty good. Got max plant food. So you can just see those broccoli guys just hitting the crap out of all those zombies that are coming out, coming toward it. Just really good. It's going really good, guys. Getting at over a thousand suns already. I mean, we do have eight sunflowers here. So we're at max um, plant food right now, so I'm just going to use it on that guy. Oh, again, max plant food. Since we're just here, and what the heck, I'm just going to use this guy, put this guy right here, I'm going to power him up, so, or use the plant food on him again, plant food, and just get them out of here, because you don't need to just sit here and wait. Okay, here we got the pinata, let see what's in here. More gold, 3,000 is good. Four pea shooters. Oh, three twin sunflowers. Okay. Next level. Okay, so we're just gonna use sunflowers again. We're gonna use those broccolis, cabbage shooters, boomerang, walnut, and bomb. Oh, we do have those fire torture guys I see here right there but hmm. huh okay so we're just gonna take out the bombs and use those iceberg i'm just gonna call them the ice guys because i just don't want to risk those guys burning any of my plants or trying to get to the lawn mowers okay so again we're just gonna have a row of sunflowers like we have done every day now for the past 16 days Put the ice down just to slow him down. Should be able to do one more ice before he gets close by my plants. So we got the full row of sunflowers here. So again, we have three like defensive plants. Put the ice there again. So then one, two, three. There. Okay, boomerang. Just put this guy there. And put another boomerang. Put an ice guy there, just slow him down. Under walnut. I need to get rid of that guy. I want him putting his gravestones like in my line of plants right now. Okay, so got that guy, just ice him. Okay, we're gonna need some help on that cone guy over there. So let's just put a broccoli though take them down for sure oh we also got oh, shoot okay so i'm gonna put a walnut here slow that guy down because oh my gosh he seriously can't reach it the broccoli 
guy Scott I mean the bucket head should take him all down okay there we go freeze this guy just to stop him oh and there are three waves I didn't even notice until just now Okay, we're gonna need the broccoli to be put right here because we got a cone head in one of those dudes. So let's take that down. Boomerang. Okay, you're doing pretty good. Just finished the second wave about. Oh, I've gotta slow this guy down here with, or not slow him down, just put out his fire. Okay, again, we're gonna use plant food on the cabbage guys. We got max plant food. Okay, final way of see another green guy that's gonna get plant food. Quickly use it again. Later. Again. Okay, we're just gonna use them on this guy here. Should take him down. Later. Okay, there we go. Pretty good. Okay, we're just gonna see how far we are. I'm just gonna exit to map for a sec. <clears throat> oh, so here we got an extra plant food. That's good, so we can hold four. We got the repeater. Doubles twin sunflower, I mean. Final level. So we are almost done. So what is that? 25 levels and we're on 17. So we're doing pretty good so far. Okay, so let's continue on to day 17. Here we go. Okay, never have more than 14 plants. Okay, so we're going to get the sunflower. We're going to get the boomerang. Cabbage. Broccoli, walnut, and we're just gonna grab the pea shooter. It would not be smart to use potato mine, the ice, or the grave buster because if you use it, then that's just an automatic plant lose. Or actually, it would have been fine to. It actually would have been fine to use those if we if you wanted to. Okay, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna just have. So we're going to have one sunflower there, we're going to have another here, because we don't have as many plants, so we can't just put five sunflowers. And you're not going to need all those sunflowers anyways. So I'm just going to have three sunflowers, we're going to get the boomerang, put it here. Boomerang, we're going to try to have that in every row, because that's just a good card and just good to have. Okay, oh, we'll speed it up, sorry about that, I forgot. The boomerang there. <clears throat> it's a little different because we're not usually using bomb, and that's what I've been using like all the time. Okay, put another boomerang. I just need two more of those. Okay, there we go. Because th that is my apologies. I thought it would be fine because use like graveyard or whatever because you could just do that and then you're like oh I don't want it so you just get rid of it and it would have been fine okay yeah, we're just gonna use this guy to just get this zombie out of here okay, get rid of that and there we go we got all boomerangs I'm gonna boost this sun producer if we need to put something to try to kill that fire guy. Probably gonna burn that. And put that guy there. I'm gonna boost that. Boost it again for the heck of it. Or not boost, I mean, use plant food. Okay. 
Okay, so this gives you an extra slot. As you, I don't know if you saw, but down where the plant food is stored, it has like an extra spot now. So instead of three, we can now hold four during every level. So that's useful. Okay, so... Plan your defense to defeat the zombies. Okay, so... I think these are the only plants we can use. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so usually what I do for my defense, I always have at least a bomb in the back just in case my defense doesn't turn out as planned. And they'll just get destroyed by the bomb. There. So then after these two grade stones are removed by these two broccolis, we'll put down this walnut and they'll give us exactly how I want my defense to go. Okay. okay. There we go. So we just need one more walnut now. Going good, going. Oh, and it gives us two plant food. Just in case it's needed, and we only have one way. It's that last moment there, so basically, there's nothing for me to do unless I need to use one of these power ups, and I probably wouldn't. Okay, still doing good. A lot of these, like, tombstone guys. That's why I use those boomerangs, because those are very helpful. And then if they get close, the broccolis will just punch them out of the way. This is going by very slow. Like, taking forever. Still barely even touched my walnut. So many zombies seem to have to get to the final wave. Yeah, I'm guessing these days are just getting longer as we get closer to the end of ancient Egypt. So I'm guessing here. Finally, it's the final wave. Okay, we're just gonna use the power up right here to knock these guys out of here. And another one here. Okay. Forever. Come on. Okay. There we go. Finally over. One level and ten lock the repeater. It's good. It shoots two peas if you don't know what the repeater is. Never have more than 12 plants survive without planting on days and more colonies. Okay. Okay, sunflower, broccoli guy, cabbage, boomerang, walnut. I think of bomb. I guess I'll just do bomb instead of ice. I know those fire guys are there, but it's okay. Okay, so again, we're just gonna have three 
sunflowers, every space, so like one, space two, space three. I'm gonna put a bomb down there. Okay, so this is gonna be a little challenging because I only have, or after that bomb explodes, I'll have nine more plants to plant. So we're just gonna try again to put a boomerang in every row. Let's put down there. I'm gonna try to slow it down by making it think it's like it's gonna get the sun. So again, we'll put two more boomerangs right there and there. And we're gonna need help on that cone head guy. Okay, we're just gonna boost this because we need those suns fast. Just to knock them out of the way. Hopefully the bomb will be ready. I think it'll burn my sunflower. Never mind, did it? Good turn. I'm gonna need a wall out there. I'm gonna have to get that guy out of here. There's a boomer in here. There's like nothing on the side of here. Put that there. I'm just gonna take this out. I'm gonna need a broccoli there. So just punch him. Come on. There we go, the repeater. It's a good card. I like this one. Yeah, it shoots two piece. Okay. Pinata. 50 gold, what the heck? Okay, so we can upgrade some plants here. It's two to upgrade. Okay, so for day 20, it says survive and protect the endangered plants. Okay, so we're going to be using sunflowers. Let's level that up. Okay. We're really going to be using the ice because you got the fire, got the zombies with the torches. So level that up. Hmm. Okay, we're going to take the walnut and we're going to take. Hmm. I guess we'll take the boomerang. I'm not sure if we'll use it though. So, okay. So technically, we didn't really need sunflowers, but. Fine, I just won't use it. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put the broccoli there. I'm gonna put like the walnut in front of it, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm just gonna put it there for now. We're actually just gonna put the sunflowers here just to get extra sun. Okay, so we have a few set more seconds since there's coming down through the middle. And keep putting those broccolis there. So well, I slow them down. She needs some more time. Okay, good. Okay, we're gonna start putting these guys here now. I need some extra help. See that that cone head there. Okay, still doing pretty good so far. I actually only just put the pea shoot in the wrong row. Okay. Let's get that out of here. Okay. So we're gonna need some help here. Let's turn that guy into ice. Okay, we're gonna need a. Okay, 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 okay. Let's 
freeze this guy. I'm oh, already on the final one. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, do that. I guess. Okay. Okay, that was good. That was good. Okay. Let's move on to day 20. So, you get the idea. It's pretty easy. Go to ancient Egypt is very easy. Okay, next level. Survive the zombie attack with the given plants. Okay, so let's see what they're gonna give us here. Oh, okay, so we get watermelon. I actually love watermelon. That's one of my favorite cards. When I, like, actually winter watermelon's my favorite. So I'm almost done with ancient Egypt. The video is almost over. There's some ice here just to slow them down. So what we're probably gonna do, we're gonna put the watermelon, like, I'll show example. So we'll put the watermelon here. We'll put the corn here. And I I guess we'll just put the walnut here because we don't really need the cabbage guy because he's just not that good. Especially because we're already on day 21, so it's not gonna be that helpful. So we're just gonna put the corn there. Corn is actually pretty good. Like, sometimes the corn could like, give yeah like that like how it just stops the whole zombie so we're gonna put ice there so we could just save up a little more speed it up till we forgot about that and let's put the walnut down here put another corn here try to save up for the watermelon after we just put a few guys down here so we can destroy these guys that are coming on our way at least we have some defense in like every row Walnut down. Okay, so now we have enough for. Oh, we did have enough for a watermelon. Almost be able to. There we go. Okay. Doing good, doing good. Okay. So we're doing pretty good. Okay, okay. So we're, um, when we get to the final wave, we're just going to use um, plant food on the watermelons because it does like, crazy damage. Very useful, very helpful. Okay, so let's put that walnut down here. And we're gonna just use the plant food. Just keep using it. No. <laughs> Pretty crazy. But yeah, it's crazy damage. Um, whenever you use like a watermelon of any kind, winter or just normal, I recommend you always use use plant food on it. So this says sun boost. So we start with 25 more sun than we usually do. So I'm pretty sure now we'll start with 75 sun instead of 50. So that's good. Okay, so now we are on day 22. Survive without planting on Dave's mold colonies. Never have more than 15 plants. Okay. So we're gonna use <clears throat> sunflower, potato bomb, broccoli, the repeater, walnut, and I guess ice. It's gone with that because what the heck? It's gonna slow down those zombies. So as you see from the last boost from the last day, we got 25 extra sun boost. So as you can see, we have 25 extra more than we. We start, then we usually have, we started with 25. Now we start, I mean, we started with 50, my bad, my bad. Now we have 75. It's actually just messed up. Or not, because we only could hold a certain, we can't have as many plants as we usually can. So we're just gonna have three sunflowers, like our, as you can tell, we're just gonna use that, that guy right there. 
broccoli to just break that. We're also gonna do that here and we're just gonna dig them up. When you get farther onto levels, when you like use a shovel to dig up a plant, you actually get sun for it. But I don't think it does that just yet. Okay, we're gonna need another broccoli right here. I'll slow this guy down a little bit. And put a potato mine down. Put these repeaters here. Get rid of that. You're doing pretty good so far. Yeah, let's put another potato mine down. Gotta slow this guy down with the knife, this cone head guy. She's getting way too close. Okay, we're gonna put a potato mine down. Hopefully he doesn't get there in time to eat it. That guy's just powerful. That sound is so satisfying. Okay, doing fine, but the ice there, the cone head, like I already said, is stronger. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a walnut here because we're gonna have that bucket head and it's gonna be annoying. Add that broccoli there too. Freeze him. Put a broccoli there, help out. Just gonna get rid of that walnut. Okay, doing fine. Okay, we're gonna freeze this guy right now. And if we do need to, I'll put down a walnut, but I don't know if it's necessary. Yeah, that's probably fine. Okay, we're gonna need a Broccoli guy here. Probably put a walnut here because they're kind of getting close. Freeze him. Just make sure you keep watching your plants up here. Got three left. Okay, we're gonna use that um, plant food there. Freeze him. Oh, okay. Put a broccoli here so we can take out a bunch of these plants. There we go. Use the rest of the plant food on them. Yeah, the repeaters um, plant food when it's used is way better than the normal pea shooter because it has that big bomb at the or big pea that's shot out at the very end. Okay, so we're almost done with ancient Egypt. Pretty crazy. Gotta say. Okay. Okay, we got a giant here. Okay, we're gonna be using sunflower, broccoli, balm, repeater, walnut, ice. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna have a row of sunflowers like we have been doing. Actually, we haven't been doing it because it's only been letting us to have a certain amount of plants. Okay, we're gonna put a potato mine there so that um, we could just Again, waste time and how, how to gather our sun so we have like enough. Just get the most sun as possible before a lot of zombies start coming. Okay, so now we're going to, since we're using the repeater, or actually let's put another potato mine down. But since we're using the repeater, it'll go there and then the broccoli would usually go there. So then the walnut will go two, it'll go two spaces and then walnut. We're just gonna slow this guy down because I just want to have more time to get more suns. Oh, okay. So we're gonna put another potato mine here. Um, what should we do? Okay, I guess we'll put a broccoli here just to knock him out. I'm gonna put another walnut in the same row as the other walnut we already put down. I'm gonna put another potato mine here for the cone head. 
another broccoli there for that zombie. And now we're gonna put the walnut here because we don't want to put it in that row here because you know Conan's gonna get destroyed by that bomb. Speed it up again. So we have three waves. Okay, we're gonna wanna get that guy out of the way. Where's our repeater? Gotta break those graveyards to try to get to him. That's the one thing that isn't as good about those P shooters. Because stupid great gravestones are always in the way. Just don't want him putting like a gravestone where my plants would go. Okay, he's gonna give us some plant food too. Useful, useful. Needs a freeze. Well, I'll wait a few seconds to just see what we're dealing with here. There's a freeze here. Oh, it's okay. Put another walnut down. Try to put the I'm gonna put the potato mine here. I don't know if we'll be ready in time. These these types of zombies here are usually pretty slow. Okay, good. Trying to decide what world I'm gonna do next after ancient Egypt. I was just gonna go in order, but sometimes there are plant. I'm only gonna be doing. Actually, I'll probably just go in order. That's probably what I'll do. I'm gonna put a potato mine there. I don't know if it's gonna. I'm gonna have enough time to kill this guy before it comes up. Freeze it. Perfect timing. Wow, jeez. Just gonna put a bone potato mine there because he's already got that. This guy right here. Let me pan the butt. Same with this guy. Okay, so I'll probably freeze that bucket head. That one zombie that's kind of fly would just die right when he's getting hit by that broccoli. Okay, there we go. Later. Okay, we're almost in the final wave. Almost there. Well, we are maxed out on plant food, so let's see he's on this guy here to get him out of the way. We got another plant food guy right there, so she's it here. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Oh, there's our giant, so let's put a potato mine there. Plant food on this repeater here. Let's shoot out you know, that, that little dude. Here's another plant food here. Oh, good, good, good. Get a pinata. Let's see what we're gonna get. Oh, ne next level we'll get the twin twin sunflower. Ooh, a lot of gold. Three thousand. Good, good, good. Pea sugars. Okay. Okay, so it says plan your defense to defeat the zombies. Plan your defense, of course. Okay, so let's first upgrade these guys. So we just gotta think and place marks. So we have 2,250 sunflowers. I mean, suns. So repeaters for sure. Broccoli for sure. Gonna need the walnut and bomb for sure. Take the ice. Um, I guess we'll just take the boomerang. I'm not positive I'll use it though. So again, we're gonna have these bombs here in the back, just in case anything happens. We're gonna have these sh pea shooters here. We're gonna have these broccoli guys here. Hmm, that's gonna be kind of annoying, but we're gonna put, I don't know if we're gonna have enough sun to one. Let's see. Oops. Okay, so, yeah, we'll have enough suns. We'll have a few extra suns just in case we need to use on something. So we really need to hit this graveyard, break this, I mean, gravestone, so I can put this guy here quickly. Again, just speeding it up. There we go. Okay. Just need to get rid of those fire guys. I like the torches. 
to use a plant food here because that guy's not trying to have it burn down anything. Okay, a little challenging. This middle row is getting a lot of stuff going on here. I got two of those guys with the grave or whatever. We need to freeze there because as you can tell that walnut is getting the beat out of it's about to get destroyed. We got another of those guys coming. Jeez, we're gonna try to get another sun here. So this I mean not a sun, my bad. Ice guy. Get rid of that freak. Just put a bomb there. Just to not have to deal with one of them at least. I'm going to probably freeze one of them. Or actually, we'll, free we'll probably freeze one of those bucket heads or whatever when they get closer. A lot going on here. There we go. Freeze them. Okay. Honestly, I hate these guys. These ones of zombies are very annoying. Okay. Okay, let's get rid of those guys with the torches. It's fine. Okay, we're gonna use plant food here because it's looking pretty crazy. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Our walnuts are getting really eaten. Oh, I totally forgot that was even the final wave. Okay, here we got the twin sunflowers. So the next level is our final level to the world. Pretty exciting last level for this video. Let's see. Oh, another pinata. Yep, of course, get twin sunflowers right after you earn it. Okay, let's go on to the last level for ancient Egypt. Okay, so we're on the final level here. Here we go. So usually on the last level, they always do this kind of thing. They always have these people here. So here we just spam zombies, like put them wherever, it doesn't matter. Just gonna try to reach that guy, creature. Watch his health up here. And try to use the plant food on the zombie when it's there. I need to talk to you in our bedroom, please. One second, I'm in the middle of a video. I need to talk to you. I'm in the middle of a video. Yeah. Sorry about that, my dad. So annoying. Just trying to find a quiet place to do this video for you guys. Yeah, I'm just in this room and my grandma needs to get in here, but I'm trying to go fast here, so I don't get in so much trouble. Use the plant food on him. Oh, okay, of course he jumps away. Spam plants. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, sorry about that again. Okay, almost done here. Just keep 
spamming clamps. Jeez. Come on, dude, get out of here. There we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.